This is the Touch of Malice, which is perhaps the greatest primary weapon to ever grace the Destiny universe, and it is back from Destiny 1, and in case you're not aware, you get it from the King's Fall Raid. It has a really cool exotic perk that plays around you being down to your last bullet in the magazine. It is kind of like a gambler being down to his last dollar. The key difference being instead of getting divorce papers and losing custody of your children, you get bonus damage. It's undeniably a great weapon, but the only time you ever see this thing is in raids. So I thought it would be fun to take it for a spin in PvP. And right before we do that, today's video is brought to you by Keeps. Keeps is a subscription service that helps men, guess what, keep their hair. They offer clinically proven treatments to combat the symptoms of hair loss. The treatments are delivered straight to your house and their plans are affordable, which is very important right now. Their treatment plans come with a year of unlimited doctor messaging and most Keeps customers will notice results within about like six months of starting. 66% of guys are gonna experience some form of male pattern baldness before they're 35 so considering that is like my core demographic if some of you are experiencing these things keeps might be the right service for you they also offer 24 7 care and support so if you'd like to pillow talk with their expert medical advisors then i guess knock yourself out but to get started go to keeps.com slash sir demetrius and you will get 50 percent off of your first order so thank you to keeps and let's get back to my video down to my last shot. What the fuck? Bro, you're the go. I see you, my slime. Bro, you're him. Him with Timmy Neutron. Timmy John. He's him. Nah, He's actually him. Can I get a bucket of your sweat? Bro, this shit is fucking. Okay, I, I think I just accidentally reloaded. I am gonna try to use some regulation. Regulation touch of malice as well. I got you. Alright, now I'm on the last bullet. Hello, he's gonna come around the corner. Bye bye. Dude, this shit like nukes people <laughs> so bad. It's like a little paranoia cannon. Because even when you're like shooting at people that aren't shooting at you, you kind of like flint, you like flinch in real life because you see that you're taking damage. And you're like, oh shit, like where am I getting shot from? Uh oh. My melee isn't bound correctly. Hello? What the fuck? It's Bateman, Patrick Bateman. You're my lawyer, so I think you should know I've killed a lot of people. Some escort girls in an apartment uptown. Uh, some home. Dear Lord. Come here. Ah! Fuck him up! Wait. No! <laughs> There's gotta be at least like one guy in my team that doesn't know what I'm using, but just thinks I'm just the biggest idiot. Which they wouldn't necessarily be wrong. <laughs> the gap in between last game and this game was like. 10 minutes, like 10 minutes of matchmaking. I guess the guy whose account I'm playing on is a real authenticated guardian. My stats, seven wives. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, one tapa. I need to resort to my last bullet strategies. The worst part is the flinch, like your screen just goes. It'd be so much better if it said uh, Bateman.eth. Have a Patrick Bateman loving Ethereum fan. The pinnacle of men. It's okay. It's not okay though, it's not, you know. Dude, I killed myself. It's a dangerous line of work. Being a touch of malice user is uh, among one of the most dangerous jobs. Dude, the tricky part is I didn't actually think you could kill yourself with this. I thought it, like, wouldn't let you or something. I feel like there are a lot of... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I'm... I'm I, uh, that was a mistake.
No shot. Back on my favorite map. Let's go. Perfect. Super believable. Let's just get one more shot of that, if that's okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. What? <laughs> no shot. <laughs> How the how does that not kill him? What am I shooting at people? Like garbanzo beans? Okay, I was I was scared I was gonna kill myself. Ah! Please, the healing rift is not helping as far as concealment. What the fuck is this piece of shit? Jesus. I mean, the man the man is straightforward with his name and his play style. That's respect. So yeah, a little, you know, a little catch, catching up to speed, right? What, what am I feeling here? It's very good, actually. I honestly was, for some reason, expecting that it wouldn't let you kill yourself with it. But it does, and that was something I had not foreseen, which impacts it a little bit, and... The recoil can make it a little bit hard to manage, because like when you're on that final bullet, the recoil is quite, quite insane. But I feel like it has its place, you know, especially if you can kind of come up with a build that you can use to just like keep auto regening. I mean, even something as basic as like putting a well or putting a, a rift down at like a key control point and then swapping to your final bullet. Like even something as light as that is like a good strategy. We're getting whacked. We're getting stomped. Okay, I, I give up. Like, my shotgun shot is so bad right now. I couldn't even hit Keitel. And the, that is a lot of square footage that we're dealing with there. Now we're cooking. After this video, now you guys can say if anyone ever accused me accuses me of like aimbotting or cheating, you can say no. No, he doesn't. Because he sucks. Watch this video. <laughs> I I hate it. I hate it so much. How about you S my D? How about that? It's weird because the damage buff is like really good, right? But because of the recoil, you actually don't like, if you just straight up challenge a gunfight, especially at like medium range, you will like, you don't really have like a super strong chance. Like you don't, you don't have the advantage that you might think you have. Run him down! All right, more of that. Very awesome. Very cool. There, this guy has been on my ass. He's in last place. He's in last place, but I think he by far probably killed me the most. It's like that old saying goes, your greatest enemy is your best friend's treasure. Burn. In hell, more specifically. Okay. Oh, he killed him too. I'm actually, I'm actually kind of excited about that. Like, I just figured the other guy would clean him up and it would be boring. But the man gunned down two gorillas with one malfeasance. They're probably gonna name an exotic about this man. I had to stay within the hearth of my well, a warm embrace. Why are people, dude, why are people challenging me? What, what, what's the deal? If I, if anybody is to win this game other than me, I want it to be Winter Dark Wolf. Sorry, lightning. I'm gonna have to take this. Rockets at the ready, ready to blow. Boom. 
So that is it, and for a weapon that is so good in PvE, it is uncharacteristically good in PvP. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is not a situation where we need to panic. This thing is not broken because it's balanced within the whole self-damaging and the extreme recoil, but at the same time, the damage buff is very significant. So it lets you feel like really powerful when you use it, but at the same time, you might just end up killing yourself. So thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.